do you want to become more productive, more focused, more motivated, you know, more disciplined, being able to read books, being able to start that business that you want to start, be becoming, having more control over your mind and your body, right? A lot of you probably feel like you're not able to get enough done throughout the day. And it's not because you don't have enough time. It's simply because you mismanage that time. So I'm going to teach you how to reset your dopamine receptors. So instead of watching, for example, when you get home from work, you'll be able to pick up a book, whether it's the 48 Laws of Power, whether it's a fictional book, whatever. Anything is better than watching TV all day or maybe coming home to work on that business. But you can't find the discipline to do that. You, you, you would rather listen to music or continuously watch TV when you get home from school or from work instead of sitting down, starting up your business, learning how you can start up a business, reading a book, educating yourself, learning new words, learning new things, whatever it may be, a new fucking language, I don't care. The reason you can't find it within you to do that is because you are so distracted. Your dopamine receptors are out of whack. Right. For example, let's say I eat ice cream all day long. When I eat a grape, I'm not going to get that same dopa amount of dopamine that I would when I eat that when I eat that ice cream. So now my body says, you know what? Instead of having these grapes, I just rather continue to eat ice cream all day so I can continue to get that dopamine hit. And then maybe at some point I might find a food better than ice cream and I get a higher dopamine hit. Now, I don't even want to do the ice cream anymore. I, I want that a lot less. I want this a lot more because it increases more dopamine. Dopamine is what allows you to get things done. Dopamine is what makes watching TV fun, having sex fun. These things, this is what makes that fun. Now, with social media and these instant satisfaction type of apps, it throws, it destroys your dopamine receptors. I'm able to, for example, I'm able just to find whatever movie, whatever show, whatever music, whatever I want, I can find it right here. It's all in the palm of my hands. So you just get dopamine. You're constantly getting fed dopamine versus 100, 200 years ago where social media didn't exist. I might, if I wanted to watch something, I would have to go to a play. If I wanted to read something, I would have to, if I wanted to like watch a movie, I couldn't watch a movie. No movies existed. I would have to read a book to get that information, right? Now today, you know, everyone's dopamine receptors are pretty fucked. I'm going to show you how to unfuck your dopamine receptors. So essentially what you're going to want to do, which will be very hard. I know some of you are probably saying this is fucking crazy. You want to shut down, for, put your phones away, right? And if you need to use your phone for work or whatever, use it for just that, okay? Put your phones away. Don't watch TV. Turn your TV off. If you don't have control, take your TV down. Put it in another room. Give it to a friend or family or whatever until you do this dopamine challenge, dopamine detox challenge. We're going to do it for approximately a month. Some people say do it for a few days. I say a month. That way you give your body time to heal. That way you give your brain time to reset. So you can get take pleasure from reading a book. You could take pleasure from going on a walk. You could take pleasure from just meditating. Right now I feel pleasure. There's no songs going on. There's no music. There's no TV. There's nothing. I got a book right beside me that I'm reading. I'm reading Dune. I find it to be an amazing book. I like it. I like sci-fi fantasy type of stuff like that. But I have no other thing. Like right now, I've just been thinking. I had the book right beside me. I've just been thinking, right? This teaches you how to get dopamine from just thinking, thinking of new ideas, of just envisioning things. Like these things become more joyful. Spinning top, you get more deeper connections with your friends and your family because you don't have all these distractions around you. So what I want you to do is simply Put your phones away, take your TVs down, your game systems, all that, put it all away. The only thing you're allowed to do for the next 30 days is to journal. You're allowed to read, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. I'd say have a mix of both. And if you do want to listen to something, it has to be frequencies or simple, some, something simple like classical music. Not, you know, rap music, horrible music that's destroying your brain. Simple sounds, rainforest, rain sounds. I use rain sounds to go to sleep, so I use that. Um, and yeah, that's what you'll be doing. Reading, journaling, exercising. You can hang out with friends and meditating, right? 
That's what you'll be doing for the next 30 days. When you do this, you'll notice each day becomes more and more easier. Each day you get more joy. You get the same amount of joy that you would get watching a movie. You get that same joy from reading a book. How this happens is your dopamine receptors get reset. So you're no longer, you no longer, you no longer need that movie to get those, get a, get a dopamine rush. You can read a book and get a dopamine rush. You can start a business and get a dopamine rush. Guys, reset your dopamine receptors. Please go on this dopamine detox. This is how you take control back over your life. This is how you become more powerful. This is how you become more disciplined. This is how you can get things done faster than 99% of the people in the world can because you aren't distracted. Once you remove all the distractions, you can see your true potential. You can see what you're truly capable of. The sky's not the limit. Not even the moons, not even the galaxy. There is no limit for you. I just wanted to share that with you people today. Anyways, I'm going to get back to reading this book. Um, I'll be doing this dopamine detox for the rest of my life. And yes, you heard that right. I won't be going back to watching TV. I'll just read books. I want to just go back to how it was in the 1900s, 1800s with regards, not political rise. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be, you know, in the trees somewhere if you get what I'm, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but with regards to technology, I'm going to use technology. Yes, I'll use this but I'm not gonna allow it to use me. I'll use it to get my message out to the world, right? I will produce content, but I shall not, no longer consume content on the internet. I shall no longer sit here and scroll and scroll. I call it the death scroll. You continue to scroll. Some, you're not even watching the things. You're just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Don't finish watching the whole movie or you don't finish watching the whole short or reel or whatever you're looking at or the post you're looking at. You continue to skip, skip. You want that next dopamine hit. You want a more powerful dopamine hit. And you never truly enjoy what you're doing. So do as I say. And you'll have this new, 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 new look, outlook on life. You'll be more joyful. You'll be more clear minded. I haven't thought this well in a long time because I'm so used to having things just play in my ear, movies playing like I, silence. Silence is a beautiful thing. I said everything I needed to say. Make sure you guys subscribe, tap that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you have any video, video recommendations, any topics you would like me to speak about, I'll be more, more than ha happy to speak about them. Peace and blessings to you. I hope you, I wish you all well, and um, I hope you receive this message.